Hey, Dubiglers, wanted to do a quick video for you today about ball spin. Uh, specifically, we had a question asked of us about what to do when a ball gets hit towards you or at you with a lot of spin on it, whether you should try and counter spin or spin it back or just hit it neutrally. And that's what we're going to answer in today's video. Let's get into it. If you have a pickleball question, leave it below in the comments. Uh, we answer all questions, and if the question is something that we think might apply to more than just your particular situation, uh, we may do a video like we did on this one. Before we get into how to hit the ball when it gets spun your way, we need to first understand spins. We're we'll talking about spins for a minute. There's two types of spins that we're primarily concerned about in pickleball. One is called a top spin. So if the ball's heading in that direction and it's spinning this way, so the, the top of it is, is rolling, is falling over itself like this, that we call top spin. The other type of spin is known by different names. It's sometimes called backspin, slice, underspin. And gen what that means is if the ball's heading in this direction, the ball is spinning underneath like this. So the ball has a different spin like this. Top spin, the ball spins like this. The other type of spin, slice or underspin or backspin, it spins like this. The different type of spin that you get on the ball will impact how the ball acts when it hits the court. A top spin shot, if it's coming like this, when it bounces on the court, will bounce further in the same direction. So basically it'll pop off the court in the direction it's headed. So sometimes it'll jump off the court in, in, in your direction, basically coming towards you more. An underspin ball will behave differently depending on how it's hit. If a ball is hit with underspin high, so the high kind of a loopy shot with underspin, what happens with that ball as it hits the court, it basically acts like a break. So it hits the court, it breaks, and then it just kind of sits up like this. What'll happen though is it'll, it won't come, so if, let's say a neutral ball was gonna come like this. What'll happen when it has underspin like this, it'll come like this, and it'll break and it'll hold up like this. So the only change there would be your body position. You need to be a little bit further forward or closer to where the ball bounces if it has a high loopy kind of a shot. If the ball is hit with spin but low and hard, what'll happen is it'll hit the court and sometimes it'll skid off the court like this and come off pretty hard and low. Those kind of shots are really hard to hit proper third shots or long dings on because of the, the way they're coming low and hard. It's gonna be really hard to control. What you want to do with those shots, if you can, is you want to just hit the ball, drive it. You don't have to hit it really hard, but you just want to make contact with it. Make sure you clear the net, give yourself a good, you know, four or five, six inches over the net. And what you want to do is you want to make the return team that at that point is probably up the non-volley zone line. You want them basically just to volley that ball back to you. The volley coming back to you will probably not have the same kind of spin that the returner serve did. It's really hard to generate that that type of spin and that kind of power on a volley. Usually the volley is going to come back to you a little more neutrally, a little more, uh, a little more easier, a little easier to handle. What you're going to do then is you're going to take that as your fifth or your seventh or whatever number you're at shot, and you're going to try and execute a long dink at that point off a ball that doesn't have the spin and the action that the returner serve does. To answer the question specifically, if we look at if looking at it with a paddle, if I if I have a ball that has a lot of spin on it, so a lot of spin coming in, it's hitting the court. And coming off. If I try and spin that ball back in the same way, so the ball's coming with this type of spin on it, and I try and spin it back the other way, that's very difficult to do. What I'm basically having to do from a physics standpoint is I'm having to take a ball that is rotating like this, I'm having to break that ball so that ball has to stop spinning completely and then start spinning the other way. That is extremely difficult to do. If you wanted to spin it, what you would do is if the ball's coming at you with underspin like this or backspin like this, is you would basically come up on it and push up on it to create topspin on it or to add topspin to it. And what you would do, you would be doing is taking a ball that has underspin on it and basically sending it back with topspin. But what you don't want to do is take a ball that has underspin on it and try and, and put your own underspin on it and then, or backspin on it and send it back with backspin. That's almost impossible to do. The easier thing to do is take that ball that has spin on it and hit it flat or hit it neutral and just drive it in the other direction. It'll keep its spin, some of the spin it has on it anyway, it'll just keep it. It'll go the other way. The volley will get hit, the, the ball that comes back is more neutral, and then you can execute your third shot off an easier ball. To answer the question, if a ball gets hit towards you with a lot of spin, a lot of action on it, hit it back with a neutral paddle and wait for a better opportunity to hit the shot that you want to hit. Good luck out there.